Hello everyone. Today's first recipe is going to be a very simple recipe. It's a chocolate ganache filling, which consists of fresh cream and dark chocolate. Uh, the cream fat percentage for this particular recipe is 38%. So we're going to start off by adding 500 grams of cream to our mixing bowl. Once we have our cream added, we'll then go to our heating source. For this particular recipe, we need to heat the cream before we add the dark chocolate. We're going to heat the cream today to approximately 75 degrees Celsius. So now we have our cream heated up to 75 degrees Celsius. We're going to take it off the heat. For this recipe, very important to use a plastic spatula for all chocolate mixes. And we're going to add 500 grams of dark chocolate. It's important to continuously stir the mix. Once we have our chocolate added, we continue to fold and stir. You can also use a whisk at this point, but we don't introduce too much air if we're going to use this for a chocolate filling. So as you can see, it'll start to form. Don't be worried if your mix looks like this at the start. It will start to form a sauce within a few minutes. As you can see, as we start to mix more, the mix is starting to change color. As we continue to mix the chocolate, it will start to form a smooth sauce. It's also important to scrape down the sides of the bowl for any excess cream or chocolate. Now you will see we have a lovely glossy ganache formed. So now we have our cooled chocolate mold with our shells, which we've made earlier on. And we're going to deposit our first recipe using a piping bag. So we have our mix, which will lightly agitate. It's very important that there is a flow to the recipe, so it'll flow through the piping bag. Then using a funnel, we'll pour into the bag. On this particular bag, it actually gives a fill line to fill to. Then fold down our piping bag. And snip. We'll then move from mold to mold to create our filling. Now we have our shells fully filled with our filling. As you can see, We'll put that to one side, and then later on, we will bring that back to our main tempering unit, and we're going to back that mold, which is essentially putting chocolate on the back of the shell. Here's one we've prepared earlier, with the chocolates fully formed, and with the chocolate backs in place. The chocolate has also been placed in the chill, which allows it to harden. We're just going to decant these now, just to show a finished chocolate. And as you can see, we have a fully finished filled chocolate ready to eat. 